What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at the wildest news stories and rumours you need to know, including WWE's stance on leaked private photos of WWE superstars, Impact Wrestling's Twitch account being unbanned, why Cena wrestled in jorts, and WWE changes the NXT's title name. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos. But let's waste no further time and get straight into the first story as we look at WWE's stance on leaked private photos of WWE superstars. Now as technology progresses, it seems harder to keep certain media private. With the introduction of cloud backups, hackers have been able to obtain media that should only be for the user's eye. More specifically, private photos of celebrities including wrestlers. Now, not too long ago, a number of private photos of WWE superstars had been leaked online, and this wasn't exclusive to female superstars, male superstars were also victim to this intrusion. Whilst it wasn't exactly leaked, more an unearthing of a wrestler's past, Lars Sullivan's adult film past was revealed, and some say it could affect his push when he returns from injury. Fightful Select mentioned, Oh, they know, they know, so the care thing. Do they care? When I contacted, well, wrestlers contacted me asking if I'd known about it before and I had no clue. The thing I was specifically told was he won't get fired for it, but one person said Vince might never look at him in the same way again, because that's just how Vince is. That was what one wrestler's opinion was of the matter. The journalist Sean Ross Sapp mentioned, however, that the WWE really doesn't give a shit. Speaking with someone from WWE, they mentioned that the situation is normally overlooked. I've had people who've had their photos and videos leaked who told me in confidence that it would cost them a WWE job and then I had people in the WWE straight up saying, we do not give a shit anymore, we don't give a shit anymore. Obviously not in those uncertain terms, but that's the line of delivery I get now that it's a different world. I think there's a show on HBO, Euphoria, where a girl says dudes are the currency of love these days. It's a pretty accepted thing in WWE that there's a pretty good chance that somebody's photos might drop. Now photos should be kept private, and hackers should face the full penalties. Next up, Impact Wrestling's Twitch account is unbanned. Now most will recall that RVD's threesome celebration with both his girlfriend and his girlfriend's girlfriend was the main reason for Impact Wrestling's channel getting banned from Twitch. However, the ban was only for one week as Impact confirmed the channel has been reinstated. Impact might have learned that Twitch won't appreciate any more of RVD's celebrations. Next up, why John Cena wrestled in jorts. Ah, uh, jorts. A combination of jeans and shorts. A horrible fashion made popular in the early 2000s. No offense to those who wear them today. But Cena took the trend to the next level wearing them in promos and in the ring, and even though he initially debuted wearing wrestling tights, Cena slipped on the cuffed baggy blue jeans and the rest is history. However, why not cargo shorts as he wore in the late 2008-2009, and why did Cena ditch the tights? Well, Cena explained on the Late Late Show with James Corden, if you look at my other options, it's just underwear. So I wanted to do some sort of street clothes because my persona was a tough wannabe rapper kid from the mean street of West Newbury. Tough to do that in your underwear. Tough to do that. So I also wore sneakers, while most guys wear calf-high or knee-high leather boots. He went on to say, so I'm pretty much in street clothes and I chose denim because you don't blow the crotch out of denim. I tried cargo pants and in front of the world a few times, here I'm trying to put my life on the line with a superstar that I'm trying to have a match with and everybody's just looking at my... So denim is a safe play. And they're back in, so I kind of stood the test of time. Now we know nobody really asked this question and you probably didn't want to know either, but here you go. And lastly, WWE changes the NXT title name. Now, Becky Lynch recently spoke on how she wanted WWE to stop referring to the women's division as just that and have no distinction between male or female superstars. Well, WWE may have made some steps in relation to this by dropping women's from the NXT Women's Championship. PW Insider reports, WWE has issued an internal decree that going forward, the WWE NXT Women's Championship will be referred to and described as simply the NXT Championship. PWInsider.com has confirmed, the decision was made to remove the gender-specific designation of the championship. Hmm, now some of you may not agree, but wouldn't this get confusing? 
What are your guys' thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.